I have some uh, Filipino friends at work, and every paycheck, uh, there's a thing called Apollo Waga, and every paycheck we give like uh, $100 to someone to, um, uh, for kind of like a lottery. It's called Apollo Waga. It's a tradition in the, Fi tradition in the Philippines. Anyway, so every 13 paychecks, w one person w uh, like every paycheck one person wins but every 13 paychecks you win at least one time and so last paycheck I, I actually I got um, I was the one that got the money got on the money so um, I went and bought some silver uh, as an investment and I got this it's uh, it's sealed right now but it's um, uh, half ounce coins from of uh, the Calgary Stampede. I haven't even seen what they look like yet, so I'm just unboxing on video. I thought it'd be interesting. Um. Oh yeah, there. Okay. So I, I, I got 20 of them. I think it's a good good idea because it's like um. So there's there's the Queen of England. On Canadian money is always the Queen of England, and um, so it's a Calgary Stampede. Oh, it's 2015. <laughs> okay, well, whatever. So we're missing two years. Yeah. So I I didn't even know what I was getting, but I get 2015. I wonder why it's it right now. It's a Calgary Stampede going on in Calgary and. I was expecting 2017, but oh well. So it doesn't matter. Anyways, what I was thinking is this is a half ounce. One ounce is kind of like too much to give as a gift or something like that, but I like giving silver as a gift. Um, I've done other videos on that. Like this is a this is a good gift. At least like you know you give something else, you put in this with the card or something. You know, just like a little bit of silver, and then when uh, the end of the world happens, or whatever, the banks shut down, the computers shut down, the whatever, then they still have this half ounce of silver to trade for food or whatever after the world goes to hell, right? So I always I always like giving silver, sterling silver or something, or, or the little coins of silver or something, uh, to, uh, to people as gifts. And, you know, even kids... The, you give them a silver coin, they will play with it constantly for a while because it it's got you can feel it. It there's a certain energy to it. You can it's like um, I noticed even even with this like when it was in this container, it, I could feel the and I could feel it coming through the container. Like um, there's like an energy that comes off of silver. I can't explain it, but that's why it's it's used for currency valuation. Gold and silver have a certain um, energy, a certain vibration that that um, is uh, is pretty amazing. So uh, I'll just give you an example of how uh, what energy I'm talking about. Now this, see, I'm not moving my hand. This is this is a crystal. This is a pendulum. It's, um, now I'm not saying this is the energy of the crystal. This is just a universal energy that goes in the acupuncture points, the chakras, things like that. So here, let me do it again. I think it's actually best seen from below. Here, let me just, you, cause then you can't, you can see that I'm, I'm not actually moving my hand people are always like oh no you're moving your hand see I'm not moving my hand this is you can see this is the pendulum moving <laughs> without my without my doing it you know can't even see where the pendulum is And this energy is real. This is the energy that, this is the chi or whatever of the universe 
that um, you know Asian the Asians seem to know about, but nobody you know Western medicine completely ignores. This is what the acupuncture acupressure releases in the body when there's an acupuncture a, a, a block of the energy in the body and it causes illness or whatever um, it causes causes some, some kind of problem in the body uh, they release the, they, they put the, the energy flowing right in the body and it gets fixed so this is this is a pendulum just shows it, it's it's somehow uh, it seems to connect with the energy and just sort of shows like when I put, if somebody lays down in front of me I can check the seven chakras of the body and tell them which ones are closed which ones are open because the pendulum swings different if it's closed or something it if it's completely closed the pendulum doesn't even move like if I you connect it with your mind and then um, the pendulum doesn't move or it moves back and forth back and forth back instead of in a circle or um, erratically or things like that and you can actually do that I I want to do more videos on this but I need um, I need people to to show it I need to have somebody in front of me to to show me doing it on them um, so it's a bit more complicated and it's a bit weird you know I don't think people really necessarily want to be on a YouTube video um, especially if their energy is all blocked up or something but um, anyways so this is this anyways I, I was just showing this because it's showing that this is the uh, this is the energy that I'm talking about that, that that people can feel coming off of silver I think it has a certain vibe it has a certain vibration of energy that is higher than than the average metal average thing in our society probably um, maybe that's why you know certain rocks work better than others too for this I also did a video where I had um, a pyramid and it spun the, the pendulums would spin faster um, when it was under a pyramid than when it was not under a pyramid shape you know like a, a stone that was a, made into a pyramid so pyramids somehow enhance the energy as well there's a lot of mysteries of the universe like that that we're just not exploring at all but anyways it, I totally recommend this I recommend you know one half ounce silver you probably can't get it unless you're in Calgary but um, coins like this like an ounce of silver is a bit much maybe for a gift sometimes but this it cost me fourteen dollars and something each um, and it's it's good it's good currency even after the apocalypse or whatever is going to happen in the future you know it's good to have on hand some uh, silver because it, it's always been considered a currency and it probably always will be because it's got vibrations it's got energy it, um, and it's it, there's something about it they need it for soldering water pipes in the western world at least they use silver solder they use silver for um, electronics electronics require it computers require it they have to have silver why because silver has a high vibration they need gold as well actually in computers um, they need gold in there um, because gold has certain properties that require computers require um, that's why I think silver and gold prices are suppressed is because they're required for electronics and computers and stuff like that so world government suppresses the price because they know they need it for um, for technology um, and otherwise the technology would be just too expensive or whatever um, and uh, yeah, there was something else I was going to mention. Uh, oh yeah, um, just just sort of to reiterate that uh, silver has always been a currency. Is like the word argent in silver in, in uh, French is is silver, and it also means money. So it's the same word in French for silver and for money. Um, 
and uh, it's just always been a currency. I mean, since the earliest records of anywhere, silver has been used as a currency everywhere in the world, and um, and so every culture, the a most ancient texts we have, uh, you know, they use silver as currency. So, just uh, why not? Why not give it as gifts, you know, when you're when you're giving Christmas gifts, birthday presents, stuff like that. Put in a half ounce silver and that's something that they will never never get rid of, you know. They'll it's some it's a birthday present they will always be able to use someday. Um and it could be the most important present they ever receive. You know, if if um in the end of the you know, if the if the computers all shut down, internet shuts down because of some catastrophe, um or virus or whatever um, or if uh, whatever happens th this is always going to be useful the price of silver goes up they, they can use it you know what I mean um, if you look at it silver is actually just as uh, it's so rare now com it's it's there's actually a more above ground silver not more above ground gold than silver some people say because silver is being used so fast it comes out of the ground being used thrown into electronics and then thrown in the garbage and so there's actually it's getting harder to mine silver and it's also being just thrown out and so the above ground reserve silver is actually quite a bit less than the above ground reserve gold so technically this should be about the same price as gold or something you know eventually or or more even because it's even rarer for above ground silver Anyways, it's being artificially suppressed, I think, for for electronics and whatever. And so, even even if there's no apocalypse or whatever, no uh, the banks all keep on going and there's no computer virus or anything like that, and you don't need a, a alternative source of money to buy things, um, then the price of silver is going to go up someday, and they'll still use it. They'll still be thankful that you gave them this as a gift. Um, so, anyways, that's my two cents on giving birthday gifts and giving gifts of all kinds. So, you could, you, it, 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 a half ounce, you can give it as a partial gift, you know, you give this as a card and then give them a small other gift, and um, it's a good gift. You know, they'll be happy with it, I think, most people.